turn our attention right back to the story of inflation. Is it transitory, right? Not permanent. Or is it really here to stay? Chris Payne is with us, financial advisor, Payne Capital Management, to give us his take on the inflation picture, because we want to know just how worried we really should be. So when you're looking at inflation, what are your thoughts? Well, Nicole, this is something I've been talking a lot about in my podcast, The Pain Points of Wealth. Um, what we've been saying is that, one, it's not transitory. It's here. It's here. It's happening. You know, if you look at, like, over the last 12 months, the government's basically fired a bazooka at the economy in the form of stimulus. Uh, the cost of goods is becoming more expensive. Like right now, if you look at like lumber, for example, that's up 400 percent over the last year. And then lastly, if you look at, at wage inflation, you know, there's more there's more jobs than there are employees out there. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that these stimulus checks aren't going to run out until September. But basically, an employer would have to be able to pay their employees over thirty two thousand dollars a year just to compete. So like, if you look at it like right now, like down here in Philadelphia, we have a convenience store called Wawa. They're offering an $800 signing bonus just to get people in the door. So with the, with the fact that you've got the cost of goods and labor going up, you've got a lot of stimulus, you know, things inevitably are going to become more expensive. And we're already starting to see that. You're seeing that, like I said, with lumber. I mean, even just going in the grocery store, you're starting to see that. So it's, it's hard to deny. And I think the Fed's really going to have to start to backpedal a little bit on, on how they're handling rates and what they're really talking about. Yeah, absolutely. It's interesting because as we look at what's going on here, the question then, you know, becomes how we should or shouldn't be worried about the markets. Do you think the path of least resistance is still going higher or do you think that there's a lot of cautionary tone in the markets and trying to do the strategy for investing at this point? Well, you know, as it relates to the market, I, I don't think it's a one size fits all type of thing. I think inflation is going to have an impact on, on more specific areas. Like, for example, inflation is going to have an impact on what we call long duration assets. So, you know, more particularly, if you think about like the, the darlings of last year, you know, the big tech stocks, the growth companies, you know, companies where they've got, you know, 140 plus years, if you look at like Tesla of earnings built into the price of their stock, you know, inflation is going to hit those stocks quite hard. Whereas on the other side, if you take like what I call the old school boring stocks, you know, like more like value based stocks, you know, things like hard assets, things that have earnings, you know, those are areas of the market that are going to do really well, you know, just because, you know, they're, they're, the price, the price is not indicative of, of future earnings. You know, they're properly valued at this point. Hmm. Tell me about uh, Kinder Morgan. Why is that something that you're talking about today? So I like Kinder Morgan, you know, and I like it along with the whole sector. So that's an area of the market, you know, uh, what we call midstream pipelines, the Alarian Index, that's gotten hit really hard over the past few years. Uh, that's an area that uh, over the last five years really hasn't done much in the way of performance. But, you know, with inflation, that's going to respond really well. So if you look at like our portfolio right now, our Alarian pipeline, particularly, you know, companies like Kinder Morgan are, are probably doing the best. And they're still one relatively cheap from a valuation standpoint, and they pay like a six percent dividend. So, you know, again, I always like to say you get a better outcome with income, and essentially the portfolio, in this case, Kinder Morgan and the and the pipelines indexes are bribing you to wait. When you look at um, broader base things such as the Arc Fund or what's going on at Berkshire Hathaway, you quoted some of these in your notes. Um, tell me how that gets in your brain when you're trying to make some decisions here? I mean, what is it about those that's, that make you say, OK, aha? Well, again, this is something we've been talking a lot about in our podcast. But um, you know, if you look at like the ARC Hunt Fund, for example, that goes back to what I talked about earlier, where I said inflation is really going to have a detrimental impact on tech. And essentially, the ARC Fund is like the, the scion of, of tech holdings. That's down like 35% from its March highs back in February. Where on the other hand, going back to like, you know, if you look at like the Warren Buffetts of the world or the Charlie Mungers of the world, they've been talking about buying like old school stocks. Like uh, a few months ago, they were selling their Apple stock and they were buying, you know, boring companies like railroads, you know, things that would do really well in an inflationary environment. And that's already proving to be true. Tell me what you think the Fed is probably going to do. I mean, you don't think the Fed's going to sit steady for years here. You think the Fed might well, have I don't know. moves? What kind of moves? Oh, I, I don't, I don't think, uh, I, I can't have a crystal ball, but I think they're going to have to redefine what they're, what they're saying with regards to raising rates. I think that's going to happen a lot sooner than what they were saying previously. So you don't think we're going to wait till 2023? Like it, it, it could happen in 2022? Hey, well, look, anything's possible, but I would be really surprised if they wait till uh, till 2023. I think I think something's going to probably going to have to happen much sooner. 
a lot of people have been looking to some of the sectors that seem to be working, energy, financials, uh, materials. Those seem to be some of the favorites. Do you like any of those? Yeah, I like all three. And, you know, again, these are areas that we hold in our, our diversified portfolio. And again, you know, these are companies, these are businesses that have earnings, and these are businesses that tend to do a lot better in an inflationary environment. And I think that's really where we're going at this point. I think we're definitely going to see some inflation here, and we're already seeing it.